فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Our last set, um, I spoke about the types of um, knowledges of uloom there are. I said there are two types of knowledge, the uh, instrumental knowledge and the objective knowledge. So inshallah ta'ala today I'm going to speak about the uh, instrumental knowledge and bi al kareem next set I will speak about the objective knowledge inshallah ta'ala. The first type of uh, instrumental knowledge is علم التفسير علم التفسير أصول التفسير أصول التفسير أصول التفسير that we're going to take inshallah ta'ala is الشيخ الإسلام ابن تيمي رحمه الله is مقدمة في أصول التفسير and since أصول التفسير is a field where a person can understand to a high level by just taking the book of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. Inshallah ta'ala we will just suffice ourselves with that and we won't go further into any other books of Usul al-Tafsir. But there are other books that exist like the Burhan and the Itqan um, which a student can go to uh, and take more understanding there. But inshallah ta'ala for us um, to give you guys the foundations and to make you solidify yourself, we will stick to Muqaddima to Fi Usul Tafsir, the Shaykh Al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. That is the first type of Ulumu Al Al Ghayat, sorry, Al Ulumu Al Wasail. The second one, inshallah Ta'ala, that we're going to be taking from Ulumu Al Wasail uh, is Usul Al Fiqh. Usul Al Fiqh. Usul al fiqh is fun, uh, it's a science that works towards giving you the ahliya, the ability to comprehend fiqh. And the books that inshallah ta'ala that I will go through with you all inshallah ta'ala is the uh, book written by al Sheikh Abdul Rahman ibn Nasir al Sa'di, Risalatul Latifa fi Usul al Fiqh. And then inshallah ta'ala we will take Al Waraqat lil Imam. الجويني رحمه الله الإمام الجويني رحمه الله رحمة واسعة and then after that بإذن الله الكريم I'm going to do قواعد الأصول by عبد المؤمن الحنبلي رحمه الله so those are the three books that إن شاء الله تعالى I hope to go through in the order that I mentioned so the first book will be رسالة اللطيفة في أصول الفقه by الشيخ عبد الرحمن ابن ناصر السعدي the second one will be the second one will be Al Waraqat Lil Imam Al Juwaini Rahimahullah. And the third one will be the Qawaid al Usul. The Qawaid al Usul. The third, inshallah ta'ala, uh al Wasail that be Ibn Illah al Kareem we will take is Mustalah al Hadith. Mustalah al Hadith. Mustalah al Hadith is um, a science that allows the student of knowledge to understand. Um, when a hadith is considered weak, why is it considered weak? When a hadith is considered authentic, why is it considered authentic? When a hadith is considered sound, why is it considered sound or fair? So inshallah ta'ala, the books that we're going to be taking are as follows. The first book is Al-Bayquniya by Imam Al-Bayquni rahimahullah. The second book inshallah ta'ala will be uh, Hafiz ibn Hajar's book, Nukhbatul Fikr. Um, the sharh, the explanation that we're going to be relying on his, is his own explanation, his Nuzhatul Nadar, in which he explained it. And the third book, بإذن الله الكريم, uh, is going to be the book Ikhtisar Ulum Al Hadith, uh, written by Sheikh Al Muhaddith Al Faqih Al Usuli Ibn Kathir Rahimahullah. So the first book is a Bayquni, written by Imam Al Bayquni Rahimahullah. The second one is Nukhbatul Fikr by Ibn Hajar. And the third book is Ikhtisar Ulum Al Hadith. Ikhtisar Al Ulum Al Hadith. Um, then, inshallah ta'ala, we will be moving on to uh, Ulum Al Arabiyah. 
علوم العربية The Arabic uh, language And inshallah ta'ala the Arabic language We're going to be dividing it into three We're going to be dividing, dividing it into three So the first one inshallah ta'ala is Nahu And then Sarf and Balagha And those are the three that we're going to be focusing on When it comes to ulum al-Arabiya Inshallah ta'ala We're going to be taking inshallah ta'ala al-Ajrumiyyah I will be relying on the sharah by uh, Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid. Um, then inshallah ta'ala we will be taking after we finish um, Al-Ajrumiyyah. We will be taking the uh, kitab written by Ibn Hisham Al-Ansari, Qatr al-Nada wa Ballu al-Sada. We will look at that and inshallah ta'ala take that. And the third book inshallah ta'ala will be Al-Fiyyat ibn Malik by the great grammarian Ibn Malik rahimahullah. Um, that's gr uh, grammar. Now, sarf is what remains. Even though the al fiyat ibn Malik deals with sarf, but we'll take a book written by he himself as well, which is Lamiyatul uh, Af'al. So we'll take Lamiyatul Af'al in sarf, and we'll just stick to that bi al kareem and we'll take the extra things that are missing from us in his al fiyah um, as for Balagha, as for Balagha, inshallah ta'ala, we will be taking bi idnillah al kareem al jawhar al maknoon. Jawhar al maknoon, it deals with the three types of Balagha that we need and we'll find it there. Ilmul bayan, ilmul badi, and ilmul maani. That book, uh, al jawhar al maknoon, bi idnillah al kareem, it will suffice us for what we need. So here, after studying the Arabic language, we have grammar. We have sarf, which is morphology. We also have now got eloquency. Balagha, ilmul bayan, ilmul badi, and ilmul maani. The student of knowledge with those sciences. Mustalah al-hadith, usul al-fiqh, ulum al arabiya The person will come out with what? He will come out with a good foundation. Inshallah ta'ala, in which he can solidify himself uh, upon bi-idhnillahi uh, al-kareem. Um, as for... علوم المقاصد اه علوم المقاصد ان شاء الله تعالى اي ويل سبيك اباوت ذات باذن الله الكريم ان او ابكمنج سيت ان شاء الله تعالى سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا الله استغفرك واتوب اليك